All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to show you a really cool proof of the product rule, which will make you go like, hmm, why didn't anyone teach me this at school? And it's all based on a slightly new definition of the derivative, which is actually the one used in higher level math. In particular, suppose you have f of x plus h. And imagine you're Taylor expanding out this function. Then this becomes f of x plus h f prime of x plus some small junk. Where if you know some math, that junk is called little o of h. And in particular, we can actually take this identity to be the definition of f prime. Namely, if you have f of x plus h equals f of x plus h times some number, that number is defined to be the derivative of f. And using this, let me give a cute application. So let's try to find the derivative of x squared. Well, expand out x plus h squared. That becomes x squared plus 2hx, so h times 2x, plus h squared, which is small anyway. So in particular, because of this identity, we rigorously have that the derivative of x squared becomes 2x. Because you see, we have f of x plus h equals f of x plus h times some number, and that number is the derivative of f. All right, now using this, we can actually show the product rule. So for this, take f of f times g and consider f times g of x plus h. Then, by definition, this is f of x plus h times g of x plus h. But now, just use this identity. So f of x plus h is f of x plus h f prime of x plus some junk, but let's ignore that. So let's put on our applied math hat for a second, just to make this elegant. And all well, same for g, it's g of x plus h plus h g prime of x. And now let's just foil this out. So this becomes f of x times g of x, and then plus h times f prime of x g of x, and then plus f of x g prime of x. And then some terms with h squared, but this is just junk. It's just small junk. All right, so what do we get? Well, we have fg of x plus h equals fg of x plus h times some number plus h times f prime g plus fg prime at x. And remember, by definition, this is the derivative of this function fg. So rigorously, we have shown that the derivative of fg is f prime g plus fg prime. I mean, come on, it can't get more elegant than this. I mean, people say higher level math is useless, but hopefully this shows those people wrong because this is very beautiful. And by the way, you can also show the quotient law, the quotient rule in the same way, simply by considering f of x plus h over g of x plus h minus f of x over g of x and putting it on the common denominator and showing that the derivative is what you think it is. But more, more interestingly, we can also use this to show a beautiful and elegant proof of the Chen loop. Because what do we have? Well, let's try to find f composed of g of x plus h. Well, that is f of g of x plus h. And here's just one little trick, because we want stuff to be centered at g of x. Write this as f of g of x plus g of x plus h minus g of x plus h. So minus g of x. You know, this cancels out and we do get an identity and a trick to use this as h. So by the definition of the derivative of f, this gives you f of g of x plus f prime, again at that point, of g of x times h which now is g of x plus h minus g of x. But now, using the definition of g 
prime of g prime, we actually get that this is, so again, this is just f composed with g of x, and then plus f prime of g of x, and then this becomes g of x plus h g prime of x minus g of x and plus some junk. This cancels out, and in the end, what you get is f composed with g of x plus h. So your function at f x plus h equals to your function at x plus exactly the term that we want, h times f prime of g of x times g prime of x. So indeed, we have rigorously shown that the derivative of f composed with g is f prime of g times g prime. I mean, come on, how nice is that? Math can be pretty sometimes. All right, if you like this and you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.